past 12 humanities is privileged to conduct this morning's assembly. Please join us in singing hymn number 34, which is to be found on page number 26. Second Bible reading has been taken from Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him, and He will make your path straight. Confusion, stress, bullying, peer pressure, anxiety, depression, criticism, and we are caged again.
will never be enough. Your expectations from me are so high. It's like I can't, I can't breathe. The pressure you put on me is a weight on my shoulders. And I try to make things better. But everything just stays the same. Not one congratulations or I'm happy for you or even You are saying it's depression, Manchita. You know, there is peer pressure too. I might look cool, but maybe I'm hiding something quite deep. We are also aware that the internet is just one touch away from a person. It is hard not to use social media. I just can't stay away from it. I love to watch reels and it makes me happy. So, from where depression or peer pressure comes, I don't understand. I disagree with you, Paridi. The desire to be famous and look cool on social media often leads to wasted of time. Oh yes, and reels. Do we learn anything from them apart from wasting our time? Social media often leads to confusion and chaos because of the misinformation it's easily spread through. Brinda, I think you're forgetting the positive factors. Social media can help us connect with others from all over the world. It can also help us to find support and be more creative. But what about this? With the rise of social media, people have become less inclined to interact in person. Social media is convenient, but it can lead to 
to a decline in social skills and emotional intelligence. For once, I agree with you. Many teenagers suffer from low self-esteem and remain isolated. This could definitely lead to depression and they often get bullied. Now, what does that mean? To be smart and intelligent. You don't know folks. I didn't expect this from you, Samara. Nowadays, we guys, we use a lot of electronic devices. And this may prevent us from doing in-person activities such as sports. And this may make people experience FOMO. urges, memories, and feelings. Newspapers play a major role in our lives. They entitle us and keep us up to date with current issues, especially those that are faced by teenagers. But what if they do not get any solution from anywhere? Cyberbullied and suffering in silence. And, and nobody noticed. among youth rising every day, no friends around, children falling prey to loneliness, and, and, and nobody, nobody noticed. Social media and anxiety. And please need our help. And, and nobody, nobody noticed. noticed.
together. But she's so much better than me. Maybe I'm not so smart. What is the point of trying so hard when I know I will be criticized? I'm so bad at everything. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? I have no one. I'm going to fail. I'm so stressed. Study hard, study hard, study hard. How to study hard? They say I'm a good student. Am I? No, I'm not. I can't do anything. people do know and wish to help others. We are always here for you. Teenagers face many issues in their lives and everyone responds differently to different situations. That is why some people thrive during stressful situations whereas others are often exhausted by them. Pressure is inevitable but there are multiple ways to help deal with it. Teenagers nowadays often face social problems. They may also be more susceptible to challenges because their brains are still developing. Combine that with advances in technology and today's teens are facing new and different social issues every day. Stay calm and assert yourself. Simply and definitely tell the bullies to stop without saying more than you need to. We are fortunate to be born as humans, and only as humans do we have the capability to know ourselves. It's the flaws that make you. Perfection is boring, like really boring. Being yourself is truly the greatest impact you can make. Worrying what others will think is just a waste of time. You can't control them or their thoughts. It's okay if we fail sometimes. Failure is the stepping stone to success. Regardless of how many times we hear this proverb, we still don't want to face any failures in our life. And of course it's normal. Failure is inevitable and necessary. It's okay to be not okay sometimes. So, have, have a good day. day.
present a song. Let us pray. Lord, may your Holy Spirit calm and quiet our souls, help us to silence the stress and anxiety in our lives, and help us to be content like a weaned child, gently nestled within the loving arms of your warm embrace. Teach us to find balance in our lives, and to live unhurried and unshaken. All this we ask in your holy and precious name.
conclusion, we would like to thank all the teachers who graciously gave up their lessons for us to practice. We would also like to thank Mr. Gailey and Mr. Godson for helping us with the song. A heartfelt thanks to Mr. Creighton Dale, Tejas and Bhavya Ritya for their patience and effort in the control room. Thank you Ms. Mark and the hall room monitors. Thank you Mr. Roy Chaudhary and Mr. James and his team for the photography and videography. We would now like to hand over the rest of the proceedings to our principal, Mr. Tunde. Sir.